Why should we bother with what others do? Firstly, because Allah tells us to, let there arise out of you a group of people inviting to all that is good Islam, enjoining al ma a Islamic monotheism and all that Islam orders one to do and forbidding al munkar polytheism and disbelief and all that Islam has forbidden. And it is they who are successful. Surah Al-Imran, 3-104 Secondly, if my fellow Muslim sins, then yes it does have an impact on me. If one part of the body is infected, it weakens the whole body. We have the story of how the people of Musa were denied rain just because of the actions of one man. Allah tells us, corruption has appeared on land and in the sea for what men's hands have earned, that he may make them taste a part of that which they have done, that they may return. Surah al ram 3041 If the Ummah fails to do its duty of enjoining what is good and forbidding what is evil, wrong, or corrupt, then it will spread throughout the Ummah, and it will deserve the curse of Allah. For Allah cursed those among the children of Israel who disbelieved because they failed in this important duty. Allah tells us, those among the children of Israel who disbelieved were cursed by the tongue of Dawud David and Isa Jesus, son of Mary and Mary. That was because they disobeyed Allah and the messengers and were ever transgressing beyond bounds. They used not to forbid one another from al munkar wrong, evil doing, sins, polytheism, disbelief which they committed. Vile indeed was what they used to do. Surah al maidah 578 Abu Bakr al-Siddiq narrates, I heard Allah's messenger say, when people see something objectionable and do not change it, Allah will soon include them all in his punishment. Al-Tirmidhi Prophet Muhammad said if you see a munkar an Islamic act, you change it with your hand and if you cannot do that, then change it with your mouth speak out against it and if you cannot do even that, then forbid it in your heart and that is the least of belief. Muslim Allah's messenger in a hadith Qudsi tells us, let not any one of you belittle himself. They said, O Messenger of Allah, how can any one of us belittle himself? He said, he finds a matter concerning Allah about which he should say something, and he does not say it, so Allah mighty and sublime be he says to him on the day of resurrection, what prevented you from saying something about such and such and such and such? He says, it was out of fear of people. Then he says, rather it is I whom you should more properly fear.